Yes. Yep. Right, questions? What stands what out to you about State's in, offense? Uh, excuse me? What stands out to you about State's offense? Is that Mississippi State? Yeah. Um, well, they've got uh, their their uh, quarterback is very athletic. He makes a lot of plays on his feet. And, um, you know, he's, he's very makes good decisions. He's got a strong arm. Okay. I think that, uh, you know, he kind of makes the thing run. And he's, uh, you know, he's, he's the key to that thing. What quarterback were you guys the biggest? Uh, well, the offense is similar regardless who's in there. So we uh, we prepare to, you know, defend the offense and whichever one they go with. And, you know, it's, I don't think it's much different. So do you see the change of schedule affecting players any of that? No. Um, you know, we just took the approach like it was a uh, regular Tuesday and they went out there and they practiced like it was a regular Tuesday. I think uh, for the most part, you know, they they didn't have any adjustments they had to make because it was Sunday. How aware are you when you when all the sort of chaos is happening in the SEC this weekend and all those upsets, all the sort of underdogs rising up and, and does that serve as any sort of encouragement to, to you guys as you try to, to build this thing? Well, the, I think the league is a strong league, you know, and every every week you got to come to play, you know, regardless who you're playing. And uh, this weekend just justified that. You know, and all those teams that got those upsets are on our schedule. You know, we still got to play them. So we just approach it one week at a time and know that there's no there's no shortcuts in this league. You know, and I think that uh, every team in this league knows that. Is there one in particular that surprised you? I love all the ones this weekend. I think. Uh, you know what? I had seen some of those teams. I thought, I thought all those teams were pretty good, so uh, I wasn't surprised by um, that there were upsets. I wasn't surprised that there were upsets. When you looked at the film, how did you think Eric Dixon played this uh, Eric Dixon played uh, well once he got his feet in the ground. He um, he, he had to get uh, going first, the first quarter or so, and, then, and the rest of the team probably went the other way. You know what I mean? But uh, once he got his feet in the ground, he played well. How are you? How are all your, your banged up guys? Did the off week sort of serve its purpose? Do you feel like you're significantly healthier? Yes, I feel like we're significantly healthier, and the off week is good for us in that reason. How are the cast handed dudes? The three guys with the cast. They uh, besides they can't do any homework. Right. <laughs> you know, I think uh, I, I think they're getting used to carrying that extra weight, you know, on their hands. So it's a. Uh, it's getting better. You know, the, the cast hasn't changed. It's not going away, but I think they're getting used to losing. Did you say most of their points this season come in the first half, in the first quarter specifically? Has that been a point of emphasis? And, and you know, what do you do to slow them down at the start? Well, they, you know, they, they play fast. They start fast. They have a uh, an option type offense from a spread look. So sometimes the speed of the game is hard to adjust to. So you've got to come out, you know, ready to go, knowing that they're going to have tempo and that we got to be able to adjust to. It. How similar is their offense to the offense you go against in practice? Uh, some things are similar and some things are different. Um, you know, they've got an up-tempo offense like we do, but um, you know, some the Q run may be a little bit different than ours. PK, did you watch Florida State last night, and how much do you keep up with you? I did, and I do. You know, I uh, most of those guys on that team I coached and recruited, so I'm rooting for those guys. And, they played well, and I was happy for him. Is Bud 100% back? He's practicing every day. And how much of an impact do you think we're making this game? Can you? Uh, well, you know, Bud's one of our best players, if not our best player. So I think Bud is a, a huge impact in everything we do on defense. I'm surprised by how quickly Blake McLean has picked up so many different things that you guys have thrown at him. Yeah, he's done extremely well for a freshman. Um, he's very mature, so that helped him. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just get a freshman like that that can handle it and, you know, doesn't get stressed and, and is, is able to perform at a high level early, and he's been able to do that. Do you have any specific point of emphasis you're preaching to your defense this week? Just harping on fundamentals. You know, you take bye week, you get a chance to get better fundamentally. You've got to become efficient tacklers, taking on blocks, playing uh, balls in the air, and just harping on fundamentals. The attitude back to where you guys wanted it, and know. Part of the week, not so happy with it last week. The marks didn't seem to turn, I guess, late in the week. I think the attitude's been good. The attitude's been good uh, throughout the bye week. And, you know, we just got to keep pushing them to, get to be the best they can be and, and uh, play with that type of attitude. Everybody good? Good, Judge. All right. Thank you.